that's not even a magic trick. He's just yeah. eating glass. <laughs> when I interviewed Adele, she said she said something similar to that. That was what was like going through my mind. You're classier than me. I think it's good for people to know where they stand. <laughs> nice, yeah, we're, we're happy to be part of these new memories for you. Well, first off, congratulations. You had a heck of a weekend with two Grammy nominations and the release of your new single, Houdini, which just earned you the biggest streaming debut of your career. How are you feeling? I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing. I'm just, uh, I don't know, so happy with the response. It's just, yeah, it's just been amazing. I mean, I'm blown away by all the love and support and from all the fans and just it's it's been um, a dream couple of days. Nice. And have you had a chance to celebrate yet? Yes, I have. I've had two hang two hangovers since, so I've done, <laughs> I've done a good job. <laughs> the mark of a good celebration. Yes, exactly. Um, well, I love Houdini because it's such a fun, upbeat dance track. And you stated that Houdini is, quote, the beginning of a new chapter for you. What does that mean? Well, I think, uh, you know, I'm starting my, you know, the release for my new album. Feels like a fresh start. It's like a new chapter for me sonically and musically. And I don't know, I, I, I've put like my heart and soul into this record and I just, I'm just so ready for it to be out into the world and, and just create like some new memories. Nice. Yeah, we're, we're happy to be part of these new memories for you. Um, well, we're going to break down the lyrics, obviously. So the lyrics say, catch me or I go Houdini, which I'm assuming means ghosting, right? <laughs> well... Yes, to a certain degree. Okay. I think it depends. Like some, some, sometimes you got a ghost, but I think a, a, my preferred way is just to like close the door. Okay. Oh, so you're not a ghoster. You're just a slam the door shut. <laughs> no, I'm just more of like, I like to just end things properly of just, you know, no, no point in like re revisiting. Kind yeah. of. Yeah. You're classier than me. I wish I could do that. Are you a ghoster? <laughs> Uh, I'm not a ghoster, but I'm very bad at slamming the door shut. Like I'm the one that like kind of opens the door and I'm like, I, I, am I sure? Am I sure? I think it's good for people to know where they stand. I think that's just more the thing. I think it's so much better than having the awkward encounter where you bump into them and, again and they're like, oh, you never responded to my message. And you're like, yeah. right. So... <laughs> Yeah, no, you're right. I'm, I'm going to take a page from your book. Um, well, speaking speaking of Houdini, obviously one of the best mu uh, magicians, I saw this really funny video of you, Bella Hadid, and Emrata watching magician David Blaine eat glass. And I was dying at the expression of your face because you were just like, I mean, what was going through your mind as that was happening? That That's not even a magic trick. He's just yeah. eating glass. <laughs> Like, I think I was just so, like, taken back by what was happening. That was what was, like, going through my mind. Um, I think um, it definitely had the shock factor, but I don't know. Call, call, call me boring. I like a good old-fashioned card trick. <laughs> okay, what's the best magic trick you've seen? Um, I don't know. I, I, like, I don't even know how they do these tricks, but one time, like, somebody made me write my name in a in a little like um card folded it i literally put the card between my teeth then this guy uh did like the magic trick then he signed the card put it in between his teeth and then he just said look at me look at me and then he goes take out the card and look at it and he and it was the one that he had signed that really? was like and i i just i have no idea how he did that or how that even happened but i definitely got tricked we first saw you in Barbie, and next up, you're starring in Argyle opposite Henry Cavill. So, what was it like working with Henry? Oh, it was it was lovely. He he was just so great and so easy to work with him. Um, made me feel super comfortable. It was my first time doing anything like that, and um, it was great. Everyone was on set was lovely. Working with Matthew Vaughn, the director, he was just he he was just incredible. I feel like he really held my hand through the whole experience, and. Um, yeah, was was just so like generous with his advice and you know with with the direction and stuff. So I just had such an such an amazing time. Nice. Did Henry make you feel comfortable? I know this is like a, a new venture for you, doing like big, big roles. Definitely, definitely. And you know there was like moments where I just had to dance alone, and it, it, there was just like I don't know, uh, just like a real comfort there, which was nice. Mm -hmm. 
Nice. And, you know, we've seen like the successful crossover from pop star to serious actress with, you know, acts like Lady Gaga. Is that kind of a career you would love to emulate, like in terms of acting? Uh, not something that I've thought about that that mm. deeply. You know, music mm. is is my number one. The, I, I'm yeah. so grateful for for the experience that Matthew has given me. And it's definitely given me, you know, the idea, you know, because I love the experience of being on, on, on set that, you know, it's kind of like maybe it's something that I, I would like to do, but um, I'm very much a, a kind of, I need to go into practice and training and that kind of thing before mm. um, I go into something deeper, but we'll, we'll see. Okay, well, we definitely would love to see you more on screen. Um, you know, British news outlets are applauding you, Harry Styles, and Ed Sheeran for the success of your tours, and they've labeled you the three most successful in the UK. And, you know, I feel like there's only a few people in the world that even operate the level that you operate. Um, when I interviewed Adele, she said she said something similar to that, and she said that she sends unreleased music to Drake, and she'll even sometimes just ask him for advice. Are there any artists that you do that with? Um... You know, I, I actually play a lot of my music just to my friends and family. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, you know, when I play my music to people who's, who, I don't know, who I really respect or look up to, um, then I hear my songs with different, you know, in a different perspective. So mm -hmm. it helps me change it by, yeah, I don't have someone in particular that I would send my songs to in that, in that sense. All right, well, um, I'm gonna let you go in just a moment, but speaking of tours, do you have a favorite song of yours that you like to perform live? Uh, I love performing Pretty Please. Oh yeah, good one, great one. <laughs> Why is it that one specifically that you love to perform? I just, I think, you know, I, I love the way it makes me feel and I love dancing to it, I love singing it. I love, um, yeah, just, it's just fun. Okay, last last question before you, I let you go. Um, the music charts aren't the only place that you're making your mark. You recently bought back the rights to your publishing catalog, which I think is a testament to your business acumen. Uh, what what prompted that? I, I just, I always wanted to own my music. Um, just, I don't know, it's, it's my life's work and I feel like I just wanted to be in control of, you know, how that music was being used. I also feel like, you know, a lot of young artists should really kind of look into the business side of things as well. I think it's it's super important. And um, now I get to have, you know, my publishing under my own company, uh, Radical 22, which is like my publishing and, and production company and all new things that I, I want to work on as well. So it feels good to just have it all all in one place. Nice. I love that it's Radical 22. 22 is my lucky number. That's my lucky number too. Is it? Nice. Okay. Good number. All right. Well, on that note, I'm going to let you go do it. Congratulations on all of your success, especially all of this amazing, you know, uh, around uh, Houdini and your Grammy noms. Um, definitely keeping a close eye on your career. You're killing it. Thank you. I appreciate it so much.